Helen and Tembu. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are in 2024. So this video is for mothers, especially homeschool moms. And if you're into the things that I find dear to my heart, like homesteading, homemaking, and following the biblical womanhood concept. So if you're thoughts, ideas, and likes or in that space, then this video is for you. However, if it's not your thing, please stick around because you may still be able to grasp something awesome. So let's get into it. In 2024, I wanted to really put this message out in terms of as a woman, you know, our goals. What are our goals? So the word goal seems to be so loosely thrown, almost like the, um, the New Year's resolution. So, when, when I think about a goal, you know, I really think about just something as simple as soccer, playing soccer. And you have the players, you have the goalpost, and the main objective is to get that ball into the goalpost. Everybody that's positioned around, you know, around the striker is to get the ball to him to strike get the ball in the goalpost there's nothing else there's no other reason they are on the field they are not on the field to just enjoy the weather or throw the, get the ball across each other no it's with one goal to get the ball into the goalpost so my understanding of goals are like that you know and i need to look at the goal from a point of what is the goal you know, who are the players around me and since i'm the striker to get the ball into the Am I positioned in the right space? Am I in the right space to be able to receive the ball from all in the where I need to go? And is my eye on the goal post? So when I encourage women in terms of your goals, you know, I always say to them, what are your goals? You know, and what is the goal post? What is your what is your goal post? And who are the players around you and how are you gonna get to the game? And so if you, for one, have a goal with your goalpost, you know, or if you, for one, have a goal, yet the players around you are doing something else or totally not interested, why do you have those people in your space, yet you need to get to this, to this point? And so understanding what your goals are, whether they are in relation to homeschooling your kids, whether they're in relation to your home, the things you want to do in terms of your property um, or whether they are like mine, my homesteading, my homemaking, uh, but even my prayer and spiritual life, you know, what is my goal for that and how do I plan to achieve that? Because if my goal, for example, is to read the Bible, like to read the Bible this whole year to, from start to finish, and yet I don't daily I don't read anything and how do I expect to get to that massive goal at the end of the year of having completed the Bible and yet I didn't take the time to daily read so how am I going to get to that big goal and sometimes we look at these goals you know like we make them so big when we can really just keep things simple and keep them achievable so that we can actually get to it and so the next thing I wanted to talk about in terms of 2024 action having your goals is one thing but what are the action points that you're going to apply you know because i have a goal to start my to have my fruit forest by the end of this year as seedlings so i want my baby trees i don't want to buy them so what is the action plan the action plan means that i need to get my fruit seeds and i need to germinate those seeds and start the seedlings because if I don't have actions, then the goal is a dream and then I keep dreaming about it. So what are the actions that you need to apply to every single goal that you have? And then when you apply, when you have the action, you actually need to do it. Like you don't just write it down. These things are nice to really write down and put up all over, but you actually have to do it. So have your action in place so that the goal meets the action and that's execution. The next thing I would like to talk about in terms of is starting small 
in whatever it is that you want to do as a mother, as a woman, if you're looking at starting a new business, a new project, it's fine to understand your big goal in terms of where you want it to be, but you need to have a starting point. And your starting point must not be complicated, but must not be something that is going to give you stress or discourage you. And when you keep it small, you are able to monitor it, you're able to assess it, and slowly build it brick by brick, layer by layer, until it gets to the point that you want it to be. And so, a lot of people say that if you are, if you're, if you're starting something small, it's like you don't have a big dream, you know, or, you're, or you, you, you are unable to think big. And it's not that you think big, but you start small. You know, unless you've got five million dollars in your accounts, then can think big and do big in two seconds you know but you can still lose all of that anyway so starting small allows you the lessons you need to learn the patience you know the perseverance the skills it allows you time to add those skills that you need to that project to that business whatever it is that you're busy with so start small please Yes, you have your big dream and your big goal, but start small so that you're able to achieve those small milestones that also encourage you and allow you to, you know, to be confident, it gives you the confidence that you can actually move to the next thing because you've achieved these small things. The next thing in terms of 2024 is distraction. Please, I, I always try to encourage people that distraction is not necessarily a bad thing. That's just, it's not necessarily something that's bad that's distracting you distraction can be good things might i tell you you know it can be very good things in fact because it's good things we are so easily distracted and a distraction can simply be something like um you know somebody coming to visit and you spending the whole day with that person sitting and talking and talking and talking and talking the whole day they just arrived no announcement so what you should do is rather spend 10 minutes with the person let them know please you know my day is so full i'd really love to spend time with you you know can we schedule a day a time and you can come back it's just that i've got a lot of things i need to do today so that you can execute what you need to do for the day because that person has come unannounced distracted you it's a good thing that visit is good the person is great the time the company everything is awesome but there's distraction number one another big distraction is people who come to you with your ideas your projects your things and want you to get on board your things and yet they themselves are not pursuing their things so it's like someone wants to start a sort of a, a some type of a business thing and they come to you and they want you to get involved with it yet they themselves have not started it they haven't even gotten to a certain point they don't even know why they want you involved they just want you involved so that they have possibly less to do or have your expertise there and that may be a good project maybe a good business maybe a lot of income to it but if it's not in line with your plans and your goals that you've set aside then that's a distraction because you're going to start spending time dealing with that person and getting their things going and all of that while you are neglecting what you needed to be doing for your goals and your actions. Let's go back to the soccer field. It's someone running on the field and asking you something or telling you, can you please help me tie my shoelace? And then the striker starts dealing with that person and seeing to that person in the middle of the field, in the middle of the game where they need to be alert to get the ball to the goal post. They are now distracted seeing to someone and then next minute the ball is gone and the other side is scoring and the, and the striker is now suddenly confused as to how what happened the ball was here no you got distracted brother you were busy seeing to something else that's not related to the game so you got busy and guess what happened life happened things moved on and someone else is scoring and so it's like that that if you do not have your goals defined your action plan and your small tasks that you are starting with when these distractions come along, you will not see it because you will not have this in order. So when anyone coming to you, your time is just for everybody. Your time is available. You just let anybody in. You answer any call. You have chats for hours. You're on WhatsApp for days. You're busy with people and all kinds of things. 
and you're neglecting this. So distraction, always remember that it's not necessarily something bad or a bad activity. It's usually good. The difference is that it's not in line with your goals. And another point I want to just touch on is focus, focus, yeah, coupled with discipline. And so an interesting thing is that we all are able to focus and we all have discipline. So there's a saying that's like certain certain people are, are, are unable to discipline themselves. That one is not disciplined. That one is not focused. No, that's not true. Everybody is disciplined. If everybody is focused. The question is, what are you focused on? And you are disciplined in which areas? Because you do apply discipline. The fact that you wake up every day and you do certain things, you're applying discipline to waking up and doing those things. But the question is, you're not applying, you, you, you don't want to apply discipline to the things which are aligned with your goals and to get your tasks done. So yes, if you're able to wake up and sit and watch Moja Love for 20 hours and move on to YouTube and watch the Kardashians' lives, if you're able to do that, that's discipline and that's focus. Because you know everything about those people and their lives and all of that. That's focus and that's discipline. And interesting, if you had turned that onto your goals and your plans, how much further would you be with your real life versus the life that you're following or the life that you're looking at, all these other things? So focus and discipline, we all have it. We just choose where to use it, where to apply it, where to invest it in. And my my encouragement to you going into 2024 is be mindful. Be mindful. What are you focused on? And where are you applying this for? To what? To move forward. You know? And let's go back to the first one. What are your goals? What is your action plan towards your goals? What are the small steps that you're taking? While you know the bigger region, what are the small steps that you're taking? And what are the distractions that you possibly come your way? Be aware of them now so that when they come your you are able to identify those distractions and say, no, thank you. I'd love to spend time with you guys, but I just need to finish something and then I'll be with you. And attend to the things that you need to attend to. And then the focus and the discipline, you are focused, you are disciplined. That much is true, but on that. 2024 I will leave you at that and I wish you all the best as you go through this year you know all the plans that you have and the things that you had last year that you said you wanted to do get on with it you know get on with it get on with it enjoy the process you know work hard work hard and there are mothers out there who have full-time jobs they're taking care of their kids. Some are single mothers. A full-time job. Single mom, she must come home and hold down the house. She She's active in her community or in her church. She's got personal projects on the go or side businesses or baking or something that she's doing. She's maybe studying as well at the same time trying to, you know, get a degree or something. She's trying to get another skill. There are women who are wearing five or six hats. I'm a busy woman, but there are women that I see that make me look like, wow, you know? So there is really no excuse, excuse for any of us women, mothers out there. There's no excuse for us to not achieve the things that we need to achieve in the year in terms of our home, our kids, our education, our career parts, our projects, our NGOs, NPOs, whatever it is, there's no excuse for us not to achieve because we need to start thinking about this. We need to start moving in alignment and not against ourselves. So we say we want to do this and then we move in the opposite direction. We are self-sabotaging ourselves. And so that's my encouragement for this year. Um, and I wish you all the best in the things that you want to do. But yeah, just keep to these little points, keep going, keep working, keep, keep dealing with things, focusing on things that are in line your dreams and your values and keep those goals going so until the next video um i will see you again and yeah just enjoy let's enjoy 2024 
more. Let us finish this year and go back to our goals and let tick, 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 tick. Let us say, I did it. You know, let us say, I did it. It was not easy, but I did it. So until then.